All right, let's say you're going to go ahead and use your Gmail or your Google Docs. You should really use the browser of Chrome because it just is made to work better with it. So the best thing to do to access your accounts and the easiest way is to simply go to our web page, O'Neill's web page. You'll notice right here it says students. Go ahead and click on that and this way it'll have it all set up for you ready to log in. So let's say you want to go to your Google email. You're going to go ahead and click on that and then as you see right here it's got your username. All you're going to do is type in your DG number that's all you need to do because it already has the at students.dg.org. And then you're going to type in your password and you would click sign in. It looks something like this. And pretty much it's just a regular uh, email server. You'll have some time to get used to it. Compose is right here if you want to go ahead and compose an email. And the little box will come up saying that you want to compose something. So I could just type in who I want to send it to and obviously the subject. And you know you can get in and play around with the different things. The nice thing is obviously that you'd be able to email your teachers. What you're probably going to spend a lot of time using though is right here which is the drive. So I want to click into that and show you what drive looks like. Now my drive is obviously going to look a little different than yours because I've created a whole bunch of folders. Now it is very possible for you to go ahead and create folders and I wanted to show you that really quickly. Basically, you want to click on Create over here. To create a folder, you would just go ahead and click on Folder. So let's say I want to create a folder, and I'm going to call it I'm going to call it LA Period One. Because let's say you have Language Arts Period One. I'm going to click Create. It's going to put it down here in my list of all these different files that I have. And if you see right here there's my folder. Now if I go ahead and click on my folder, right now I don't have anything in that folder. You can also see the folders over here and because it's highlighted it means you're actually currently using that folder. Now let's say I want to create a document. And to create a document you just click document. And it's going to create, as you notice, it creates, it opens a whole new tab right here. Now, the way you go ahead and name your document is right here where it says Untitled Doc Document. You just click on it and say, My Summer. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to start typing, This is what I did this summer. And if you notice up here, it says All Changes Saved in Drive. So everything that I'm typing, if you notice up there, it says saving, saving, saving. When I stop typing, it says all changes saved in Drive, which is a really nice feature to have. So let's say I want to now uh, put this in my LA folder. When I'm done with this, I can just close this out. All right. Now if you'll notice, if I go back to my Drive, actually if you look over here, it's already put it in there. If I click on my Drive, this just shows me all the things I have in my drive over here. And I like to keep things in folders so I don't have a ton of documents running through. But if I go to LA period 1, my summer is in there. Now the reason it put it in there automatically was because I had this folder highlighted when I said to create a document. Let's say I'm just in my drive and let's say I want to move this particular document into one of my folders. I would just put a check mark by it, go up to folders, and say I want to move it to something. So let's say I want to move it to my LA period one. I would just select that and then click on move. As you can tell, there are lots of other things you can create in here. You can create a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form. I have a feeling that most of what you're going to be doing in class would be the document. The wonderful thing about this is because it is online, you can have access to this any place that you have access to the internet. So if you want to use this on a device at home or at school or while you're waiting in line, uh, at the doctor's office, who knows, you can go ahead and access your documents that you have created.